Let's take a look at how the three brushes of Perfect Black and White work. From the top left on the tool well, you have the Brightness brush, then the Contrast brush, and finally the Detail brush. Along the top in the Tool Options bar, each brush has its own characteristics. First, you'll have the Mode. With the Brightness brush, the two modes are Lighten and Darken. The next four settings are the same across all three brushes. First is the brush size. This controls how large or how small the brush is. The W after the size indicates that this is a Wacom supported tool, meaning if you have a Wacom tablet, you can use the pressure sensitivity to control the size based on how hard or how softly you press the pen against the tablet surface. The feather controls the transition from the hard edge of the brush, or the inner circle, to the soft edge of the brush, or the outer circle. The amount controls the strength of the brush. The default strength is at 20%, but you can bring it all the way up to 100% or down to zero. By turning on Perfect Brush, you'll get edge detection when using these brushes. Now let's take a look at how the brushes work. I'm going to start by turning off the Perfect Brush with the Brightness Brush selected, and I'm in the Lighten mode. Now, when I start drawing, you can see how I'm brightening the sky. If I take the strength and bring it up, you'll see that it'll brighten at a larger rate. Now, as I want to brighten this area of the sky without brightening the buildings, I'm going to turn the perfect brush on and watch how we're able to brighten the sky without actually brightening the buildings. I can even brighten the sky through the bridge. If I go to the mode and change it from lighten to darken, I can darken areas. Using the perfect brush, I can also get edge detection so I could darken the water without darkening other elements in the scene. Next is the contrast brush. The contrast brush does exactly that. It adds contrast. So as I draw on areas of the bridge, you can see how the contrast is getting increased. If I want to decrease contrast, all I need to do is change from more contrast to less contrast, and it'll remove that contrast. The third and final brush is the detail brush. With the detail brush, I can increase detail or texture in areas. So with the more detail mode selected, if I draw on the bridge, I can bring out detail in the brick and the cables. If I want to remove detail, I just need to switch from more detail to less detail, and that'll remove that detail. And that's how the three brushes of Perfect Black and White work.